Okay, this is a follow-up to my previous video about Phylos 71 uh, and his whole, the Holes of Evolution video. Um, first of all, I'd like to note that he has blocked my video response from showing up as a response to his video, and he has also now blocked me from even leaving text messages. You can draw your own conclusions as to why that might be. A um, couple of quick follow-up things about uh, this book which he makes to be quoting from from quote doesn't appear in here uh, he also uh, argues that it does not contain a single uh, transitional form or intermediate form and I just like to quickly show and I'll give page numbers not unlike him page 255 has a Synapsid or mammal-like reptiles. Uh, they're known as mammal-like reptiles because they have characteristics of both mammals and reptiles. Uh, next page, more more examples. Uh, the transition from reptile to mammals, one of the best documented major transitions in the fossil record. Creationists are in complete denial about this. What can you do? Uh, the very next page is Archaeopteryx, Archaeopteryx lithographica, which he mentions, but waves away by claiming that uh, reptiles have scales and birds have feathers. Well, to be more accurate, both birds and reptiles have scales. Uh, and furthermore, uh, there have been a lot more finds since Archaeopteryx, uh, including things which, uh, based on the skeleton, are classified as dinosaurs, but which also have feathers. So dinosaurs had feathers. Again, you can draw your own conclusions there. Uh, on page 269, got Bacillosaurus, which is a primitive cetacean, primitive whale, with hind legs. Uh, that's just one in a much more complete fossil record that we have now, fairly recently. Uh, finally, in this book, we get to creation's favorite subject. Human evolution has uh, Homo habilis and Australopithecines, or Australopithecus, not Australopithecus, or whatever the hell he's saying. If you don't even know how to pronounce the words, then you're probably not in a good position to be judging the validity of the fossils. Uh, <clears throat> uh, he complains about the fact they're not complete. Well, newsflash, uh, anybody who's under has even a little bit of knowledge about paleontology knows that complete fossils are the exception, not the rule. Most fossils are incomplete. Uh, but there are some examples. This is from Don Johansson and uh, Blake Edgars from Lucy to Language. It's a really nice coffee table book, lots of pictures of stuff that doesn't exist according to creationists, including uh, the Turkana boy, sort of a common name, which is a Homo erogaster or uh, Homo erectus, depending on who you talk to, they're very, fairly similar, which as you can see is almost entirely complete. Now the real fun thing about Homo erectus, Homo erogaster, this, this particular level of human evolution is depending on which creationist you talk to, they're either just apes or just people. Guess what? That means they're intermediate. Uh, and then of course there's the famous oops, right page here. Lucy, who's 40% complete, and once you mirror some of the bones, duplicating them in mirror image from one side to the other becomes even more complete. And those are just two really famous ones. Uh, there's lots and lots and lots of material, uh, a lot more than used to be available. And I'm not satisfied with it. It's not complete enough. That's just hand-waving. Deal with what exists. Don't cry about what doesn't exist. Now, I'd like to point out uh, but the examples he gives of, of, as of ape men are Nebraska man, Piltdown man, Java man, and Australopithecus. It's Australopithecus. 
Uh, Nebraska man was a mistake. It was corrected within a few years. Go to Talk Origins. You can do a search on, on, on human fossils. They got the whole backstory behind all of this. TalkOrigins.org. Uh, Piltdown man, well known fraud. The well known fraud. Everybody knows it's a fraud. Been a, everybody's known it's a fraud since the 50s. Why they keep going on about it. And then Java Man, which is a popular name given to the first Homo erectus, the type specimen Homo erectus. We found lots more Homo erectus, including the one almost complete fossil that I showed earlier. So this is just, he's reading this off of some creationist website or some creationist book. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about on his own accord. He's just parroting. So, anyway, a little more information. Uh, I'd say it's strike two and three on, on this guy.